team here as you've been hearing it picks itself and that's the shape of it and Derek Pender is back after injury to captain the side nine wins out of nine and here's the uh, Cork City team you've heard about the changes the big surprise the uh, leaving out Graham Cummins who scored in three goals against Bohemians in the league this season but he's gone and in his place uh, the youngster from uh, Limerick Roland Coughlin who scored in every round of the cup four cup goals he's got among the five this season and so John Co uh, Caulfield has gone for broke so to speak with that but there are changes elsewhere in the team as well it's, uh, five weeks today one of these teams will be stepping out of the Aviva Stadium alongside Dundalk but which one will it be will it be Cork City or will it be Bohemians Cork City respond in kind with another corner. Kehan reading from deep. And Sadlier is uh, ready to take this. So Sadlier's corner. And uh, off the top of the crossbar. And not away yet. Back again from Morrissey and Supple just had to be sure there. The effort wasn't too far away. Yeah, for some like you say, it's curled in, comes off the top of the crossbar, ball is half cleared, it's knocked back into the box from Morrissey this time. And I think it's Colin just has a header at the back post here. You see, just at the back post, Colin's up. It's a hard header, there's no real pace on the ball. He's just trying to guide that into the near stick, doesn't get enough on it, and Shane Supple has a cover. the right here and uh, Kelly causing problems they were happy McLaughlin happy to get that away another corner to Bowes look for Casey oh, that was so inviting still not away yet the Vanny back in the danger zone offside flag's gone up Rueful shake of the head from uh, Keith Ward. Yeah, it's a good little half chance. The ball into the box. Keith Ward gets it into him right in the six-yard box. Look at the lay it off for a Bowes player. Good defender from Cork. Get players around it so he doesn't have a free shot back, a roll back for a shot for Bowes. But a little half chance there for Keith Ward. Morrissey's header. Lee got in it's Morrissey once more, but he hasn't controlled it. And Devaney's away from him. And Beanie's charging. Devaney shoots. Off the post. What a shot that was! And it's just gone out. Ward couldn't keep it in play. Yeah, it was what a shot that what, was from Kevin Devaney. Worth an effort, wasn't it? I said that breeze behind him, picked up the ball, dropping him no real support of the thing. So I'll just hit this and he does hit it. Be very unlucky. Just catches the outside of the post. Great strike from Devaney. Here we see it comes into the midfield, no real support from gets it out of his feet, smashes it, hits the post. Very unlucky. A chance for both that was a wonderful opportunity and it's been spurned that was a real chance for Ward at the other end Supple has to make the save yeah I think it was Daniel Kelly that time George at the back post good play from Bowes did frame up at the back post and a quick kick out from McNulty nearly caught Bowes off him a little bit and defended it well in the end Supple came out and picked up the ball but a good start in the second half Bowes I think he long would have got at him that half time to say he didn't start the first half properly Kelly Corker. Oh, 
Well, that was an opportunity for Bowes McNulty to the rescue again. And this, this is the first chance I think Buckley just pops it in out behind, trying to catch it on the volley's difficult technique, didn't get anything on the ball. This is the second chance, little ball in behind. Again, this time of any good save from McNulty again with his feet. And here they come again, Bohemians. Ward Corker makes the angle for him. Sir Ward, Leahy. Vanny's out there. In towards Corcoran! And Diddy Corcoran breaks the deadlock for Bose. Here we see a ball that way that time from Ward. Little ball from Lee down the side for Devani. Pulls it back on the ground. Diddy Corcoran's two yards out. Dream for a centre forward. That's the ball from Ward. Ward into Lee. Down the side for Devani. Little ball across the six yard box. Tap in for Diddy Corcoran. Okay. Doesn't need to be too far out to get his goals, he's uh, leafed around the goal line and he's done it again with a tap-in but a tap-in that needed some expertise Diddy Corcoran, two against Wexford the opening round, two against Derry in the last round, and now one against Cork and the door to the Aviva swings open and Cork big, big questions now being asked in a season that's unravelled can they find something in the final quarter of this semi-final one final throw from John Caulfield to come, but not before this attack ends up. Buckley, and back to McCarthy. McCarthy, oh, Cummins! Yeah, it's a good chance. They say ball back in for McCarthy, this time into the box. Cummins loses his marker, just doesn't get enough on it. Comfortable save for Suffolk. Gary Buckley, and back to McLaughlin. Misjudgment there by Morris, and in went Leahy, and the referee has blown the whistle, given a penalty. He took a long time to think about that, but eventually he gave it. Yeah, Bose they... protest. He's got a word in his ear, maybe there, from behind the, 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 the whatever he is, fifth or sixth official behind the goal. Maybe I've given the, the, the referee a bit of information on that. We'll see now. He's got the ball there, Leahy, for me. He's got connection on the ball. I'm nearly sure he's got connection on the ball. I think that's a harsh decision against Bohemians. He did miss a penalty against Shamrock Rovers earlier in the season. And now against the other big Dublin club, he makes no mistake. And Cork City are level in the final five minutes of the game. He nice and calm from Sardinia, like you say, into the corner. Good finish, very harsh on Bohemians. Perfectly taken penalty, Kieran Sadlier, for his 20th goal in all competitions this season and his sixth successful penalty kick. It's Pender, Bo's last chance, surely. Pender, McNulty with the fists. And there is the final whistle. And Bo's have been denied by a late penalty. Bohemians taking the lead midway through the second half with a wonderful goal by Denny Corcoran. But a controversial penalty, apparently awarded by the additional assistant referee behind the goal, Derek Tomney. Final score in Daly Mud Park is Bohemians 1, Cork City 1. Well, I've asked the referee at the end of the game, um, was he 100% sure it was a penalty? Uh, he tells me that as a refereeing team, uh, they, were, they were convinced it was a penalty. I'm not quite sure, haven't seen it back. I think Dara Lee uh, connects with the ball first uh, and uh, McCarthy makes contact with Dara after he wins the initial ball. Um, the man, the referee behind, uh, the referee assistant behind the goal um, gives, the, gives the penalty decision, in my opinion. Um, and I think it's extremely harsh, and it's uh, you know tough, tough on, on the boys to take. But we're still in the tie. Uh, we've got to go to Cork, um, and if we're going to get to the cup final, we're going to have to do it the hard way. You know, this team has been knocked for a month, and sometimes you can lie down, but they kept going and kept going. And semi-finals was a tough game, but swirling win, very difficult. But um, you know, obviously, um, we got the penalty. You know, 
some felt it might have been a sent off as a reckless challenge. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, Kieran stuck it and uh, we're back home Monday week in front of a sellout crowd. And, uh, you know, at least the boys have got confidence back and that's what we needed.